A warm welcome to everyone who decided to join me today. This is your boy Preetham back at you with some more code. And as you can see on screen today, we are going to be finding the sum of every element in an array using Python. And we're going to do it recursively, using recursion. Yes, you heard that right. So let's get started. So a list or an array is the same thing in Python, which has just a set of elements of the same type. So for this, you will need to you need to consider two main cases since it's recursive you need a base case and this is not strong recursion so you only need one case and that would be the terminal case which is when the list has no more elements so let's write that down if the length of the array or the list is zero then there's nothing to add so you just return zero else every other time you want to return the sum of the first element of the array and then you want to call this again. So you just return the first element of the array and then you call the method again so that it can take it can take the the remaining elements as parameters and you know just just send out the send out the first every time. And they keep getting at it. So you'll see how these works in the test cases that I've provided below, but just bear with me for now. So since you want everything but the first element, you take it from the second index. And yes, do remember that Python index is using, it starts from zeros and not ones. So let's run that. So let's try the first test case, which is a range from 1 to 101. For those of you new to Python, that all that does is provides, you know, numbers in an array like this. So you go one, two, three, four, everything up and until one hundred because it because it takes one less than the upper limit. Alright, let's get started. Let's try running that. So the sum is fifty fifty. Now let's check that real quick. So you can use the sum of all natural numbers formula and that would be a hundred times a hundred and one divided by two which is just 101 divided times 50, which is 5,050. All right, we can try the second one too. And that has, and that has one, all the integers from one to 10. And so that should be 55. Now it's an empty array, so the sum's gonna be zero. Now the array only has one element, so it's gonna just return that one element there. That was pretty obvious, but does this work for negative numbers? Let's find out. So now we have a negative 1, negative 10, negative 2, and then a 5, and then everything else is positive. So this answer, like should it work the right way? That would just be th 13 less than 55, which is 32. Oh, sorry. Well, actually, yeah, that's... All right, yeah, 10, 13, yeah, it makes sense. Because, like, we've actually subtracted, it shouldn't be 13 less than that, because we've actually subtracted a lot bigger numbers. So, ne negative 1, 2, negative 2, and 3 cancel out for 10, and then 6 and 4 cancel out. So, this is really 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, which is 12 plus 17, that's 29. So, this works well. Thank you. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and feel free to let me know in the comments if you want to see something else that is more interesting or more challenging or just more fun. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.